a famous YouTuber with 21.9 million subscribers, placing his channel among the top 140 channels of the said platform, has an equally famous podcast that features tons of entertainment named Impulsive, with over 2 million subscribers. This guy's kickoff start is in the short clips of Vine in 2013. What's up guys, I'm just chilling with my boy Jerome. My name's not Jerome, you stupid white motherfucker. And after that, it's well-known history. Arguably, he did crazy kinds of stuff for the love of his content to entertain netizens, but some were cited that went a bit too far. We're talking about Logan Paul. Welcome to Details and Luxury. Today, we'll be entertained by the five crazy things done by Logan Paul. You'll be surprised by the number one. Number five, Lana Rhodes. Surely Logan has a way to treat the people closest to his heart and treat them big time. During the birthday of his good friend Mike Malak, Logan has thoughts of giving him a special gift. At first, he contemplated giving him a car until finally, he remembered how much his buddy loves porn stars. And you can guess what he did next. He arranged a meetup between Mike and the most sought-after porn actress, Lana Rhodes, who ironically, or rather symbolically, greeted his friend by a slap from behind. Well, as far as it seems to go, Lana has made quite an impact and added views for both Mike and Logan. Number 4. Aokigahara Forest 2017 and 2018 would most probably be a turning point in Logan's career as a celebrity when an incident drove a wedge between him and the social media world so deep that it nearly cost him his channel. Paul uploaded a vlog in his YouTube channel in December 2017 involving a recently deceased corpse of a man who had died by hanging himself in Aokigahara. Familiar? This is the suicide forest at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. The video gained 6.3 million views within 24 hours, but that's not the only side of the coin. He was also criticized for other misbehavior, among them is his delivery of words, and what seemed to be using the corpse as a centerpiece for the video sparked anger and criticism on the internet. Many got offended, especially the victims of suicide, and several signed petitions came out to delete his channel. The video was taken down, sanctions given to Logan after he made a public apology, plus projects terminated or put on hold. To Logan, this video became a learning experience, as to how he refers to it greatly on number one. Number three ate dog food and had a wedgie with a machine. On his upload in June 23, 2020, Logan was seen riding a horse William Wallace style on the movie Braveheart, minus clothes as he was on horseback with a little inappropriate attire. Someone help! I can't fucking see! I can't fucking see! The video had several, as usual, hilarious feats, but one funny part is that he tried eating dog food and at the later part, received a machine-assisted wedgie from his good friend, Evan Eckenrode. Number 2. Buying a $90,000 pair of couches, he has two regrets in life, he stated. I have... I think two regrets in life. I'm not a guy like no regrets. Uh -huh. That's that's my my motto. And these couches are one of them. Guess guess how much money they were. The couches? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Not over a hundred k. Just about. Really? Ninety thousand dollars for these two couches. Damn. He wrote that the couches no longer fit in his redesigned home layout. Who's a lucky buyer who had that steal? It's none other than another YouTuber, Eric, who actually pranked him by fake accounts and numbers to get the couch. He purchased it at $17,500. From then on, the couch is another story circulating on YouTube. Actually, the couch became a celebrity. It participated in skydiving, well, Eric actually tried to wreck it up but failed. The finale of the couch happened last May when Eric and his team stuffed it with dynamite, blew it up, and re-delivered the remains to Logan Paul's home. Number 1. Slap Contest? Back in 2019, Paul, for the content, as he said, planned to travel to Russia to participate in the underground slap contest. Eight days out from flying to Russia. Yeah, <laughs> I know. 
This sparked the community to speculate, will this be a fake one or a real one? What could really happen if Logan will go slap for slap against the champion back then? The guy seems to be welcoming the idea of knocking Logan out. The YouTube fire starter then had his training and preparation well documented and uploaded. He seemed to be determined to get on the competition despite his mom and a doctor warned him about possible head injuries. So did the match happen? No. Why? During his… training? Oh, excuse me. Training. He was asked to slap a man resembling his would-be opponent. Logan was able to knock the guy out with one slap, sending him to the ground. Concern and fear showed on his face and the entire team. The video captured the deadly repercussions of the game. The team contemplated, and as if telling Logan, if you die there and we or someone is beside you, it will change lives. Logan decided not to go citing the perceived previous warnings, especially referring to the 2017 incident. The video received mixed feelings due to the probability that it was fake and the slap scripted. Your thoughts? Anyway, lots of viewers and subscribers still enjoy laughing at Logan Paul and his antics to this day. <laughs> you alright? You still in the room? Are you good? You still oh in the room? shit! Dude! <laughs> that hurts so bad! Oh my god! That's what a slap does! Yo. Which of this do you think is the craziest thing done by Logan Paul? Kindly drop your thoughts in the comment section and flood us with likes and shares. Be sure to subscribe and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for checking out Details on Luxury, and I'll see you guys next time.